Heather Dybart, we're doing some more shrooms with a view, and uh, this is one of my favorite mushrooms, and I think because you used the word earlier, that earthy. Yes. The portabella. Yes, the portobello mushroom. And uh, a lot of people are, are unfamiliar with it because it can be very daunting. It's a large mushroom and they're not quite sure how to use it or what to do with it. But? But it's excellent as a meat substitute, as a vegetarian burger. And so I'm going to show today how you can use it um, as a burger. And we're going to put some nice seasonings on it to roast it in the oven. And then we're going to put it together with some nice toppings and a red pepper mayo and put it in a bun to make a really delicious burger. But it's vegetarian, yes, but yes. also just a nice different alternative yes. to a regular burger. Definitely, definitely. And it's also very heart healthy. Um, uh, research has shown that mushrooms have a very high percentage of antioxidant, which is very good for our health, uh, as well as they're low in fat, they're, um, they have a source of fiber, they're low in cholesterol, all those things. Oh, the list goes on. On and on. So very healthy for you. So what I'm going to do is show how we're going to get the portobello ready to roast it. And uh, the first thing you do, of course, is you want to clean it. So we just take a brush or a wet, damp cloth. I've done that already. Mm -hmm. And then for this particular recipe, I'm going to score the top of the portobello cap and that's going to release some of the excess moisture in the portobello uh, while it's roasting, uh, as well as it will stop it from shrinking and, and sort of getting too um, bunched up, wrinkled, when it uh, roasts. Perfect, what you just Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so what we're going to do now is make sure that the flat part, make sure that the stem is nice and flat so you can pull it out or take a sharp knife and just cut off the stem. I usually just give it the twist. Yep, yep, the twist is probably much easier yeah. to do. Yeah. So we'll just put that aside and we're going to put these onto our baking pan. We're going to roast them on a rack and before we roast them we're going to put together a bit of a baste for them. And so in the bowl I have some balsamic vinegar and some oil and then I'm going to add a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Mm. And Italian seasoning is just a mixture of seasonings such as oregano, basil, uh, rosemary, different, uh, you know, different spices. Mm. So we're going to mix that up and I'm going to use my basting brush. You can also salt and pepper this if you'd like. If not, I'm not going to do that today, but uh, you can. Again, the recipes are, are, are great recipes, but they're also a guideline you can you know, stir it up, mix it up. Yep, if you like changes. a bit of salt now, at this point, I like to add it at the end, just in case. So then I'm just going to take the brush and you're just going to baste it right on top. You see all those spices, the oil adheres to it, gives it a nice glisten, and you want to do both the tops of the caps, and then we'll just actually switch, turn them over, and we will also do the underside. Oh, and the, and the gills will actually catch a lot of the spices and the seasoning. And the question was mm -hmm. asked uh, just before we started, do you take yep. the gills out, do you leave them in? You I can think, leave them in. I think for m most recipes you leave them in. Yep. It's part of the mushroom, part of the flavor. It is, yeah. And so we'll just turn that over and now these get put into the oven um, and you roast them at 450 for 10 minutes. And that's all you do. Yeah. Put them in now? Sure. Alrighty. Okay, thank you. I'll just clean some of this stuff away. And the next part of this particular recipe is what we're going to make is a red pepper mayo. And this uh, is what gives the lots of really nice flavor to this burger. And it's very simple. All you do is you start with uh, two tablespoons of mayo in this recipe, uh, a tablespoon of lemon juice. Just the mayo you could use regular or light if you want. Definitely, yep. Uh, a bit of lemon juice and we'll just mix that in. Uh, some red pepper, roasted red pepper that I've just chopped up fine, and a clove of garlic. Okay, and you just want to mix that up. You can whisk it or just mix it up nice and smooth. Or you could just eat it like that. You could, yeah. yep. Okay, so that's our red pepper mayo. And then what we're going to do is show how the burger goes together. So basically what you're going to do now is going to put a nice hot portobello onto the burger, All right. onto the bottom of the burger. Round side up, make yep. any difference? It's nice oh, and warm. We're going to put a bit of grated cheese on it and that's going to melt on top of our nice warm burger. We're going to put a slice of red onion and we're going to top it with some nice greens. This is a variety of greens that I've used. Like the spring mix? Or? The spring mix, yeah. very nice mix. Okay, the red pepper mayo, 
gets put onto the top and you just spread that on top of the bun. Okay. Wow. And that goes right on top. Perfect. Perfect. There you There's go. your burger. Yes.